Good morning, everybody. This is Jennifer from Jen Stitches. I am sorry I'm back, <laughs> and I apologize. Um, I had posted on one of the groups uh, a couple of days ago about why I have been MIA on a floss tube, and also on the groups. Um, I know you don't want to hear my rants, and I'm sorry. I have depression, and about mm, 16, 17 years ago, my um, parents noticed the symptoms first because my mother has depression and of course she never told us. She kind of hid it and never said anything. And um, they came to me one day and they sat me down and they said, guys, said, you know, sweetheart, you have depression and you need to be checked out. I went through a fit of denial. I was like, no, I'm not. You know, it's just, you know, I mean, at the time I was pregnant and I was like, nah, it's just the hormones and, you know, my being pregnant and so forth and so on. And finally, about a couple years ago, um, I realized, okay, I can't do this anymore. And um, I'm sorry, I'm not used to this. I have a new iPad, so it's kind of like I, I'm, the camera's on one side and I'm, yeah. So I said, okay, we're going to go find out if, you know, they're right. So I went and sure enough, and I was put on medication and... They also asked me, you know, what do you, do you have something that keeps your hands and mind busy? And I said, yeah, sure, I cross-stitch and, you know, thank God for that. So, anyway, back to present time. A couple months ago, I got really down on myself. I also have low self-esteem. I don't know if that's because, you know, me, my personality or what. And, um... I have been posting, I have, I, am, I run three groups on Facebook, and I have been posting a lot in Facebook. I don't know if it's because of the fact that, you know, that's all I was doing was blowing up the group. I don't know. But I was posting on Facebook, coming, you know, trying to make the groups active, and of course, you know, every time I would, you know, post a post, you know, people would ignore it. And... Yeah, it, 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 I know, you know, people will say, why do you let things like that bother you? One thing that I don't pe think people realize, and I didn't realize this, is depression can be a beast, a big one. And believe me, I know, I know I'm going to start to cry. Um, it got so bad that I just stopped posting on Facebook. I stopped um I just basically said, you know what, nobody cares what I have to say. Nobody, you know, wants to hear what I have to say. And same thing on my floss tube channel. I, you know, nobody wanted to comment. Nobody, you know. And I understand, you know, people have lies just like I do. And, <sighs> but in my mind, that mindset that I had, and I still have sometimes, you know, I thought it was just me. I thought it was me. I thought, you know, okay, people don't like me, you know, okay, fine, you know, I don't have that many friends locally, and I depend, you know, and most of my friends are on Facebook, and no, we may not talk all the time. I know there are, you know, like three or four of them that, you know, do message me, and I had... <laughs> I guess what really brought the downfall for me like a couple months ago was I had posted um, on all three of my groups about, you know, Google Hangouts, you know, getting together, doing a video, a weekly, you know, video chat, stitching, and nobody replied. And I thought, okay, at first, you know, it didn't bother me. So... I said, okay, you know, whatever. And then I noticed that other people were doing the same thing. And, 
people were replying to them and it just kind of again in my mindset you know I took it offensively and I took it personally and not only that I mean between my kids getting sick and also I don't work I haven't worked in eight years I my eight-year-old son gets Social Security because his dad is on Social Security so he gets a certain amount there every month and uh, it was just to a point I said you know I, I really don't care anymore I put my stitching down I said I don't even want to do that I spent my time watching TV um, I didn't even want to read and I'm a reading freak I love to read I mean I know Vicki reading and stitching she's the same way she loves to read and that's me I mean I love but I love to read and my, my parents can tell you when I lived at home that's all I did was read um, they used to take me they used to give me books my dad is also the same way and he got me hooked on Tom Clancy books and I just that was me you know I never knew how to cross stitch until good grief 27 years ago and my mother taught me how and between that and you know reading that's basically what I did and not only that I was also told I was an old woman because I cross stitched and it just it made me feel and then it made me feel like crap and then also you know people would criticize my stitching on my Facebook page and I had one lady that told me you know some of us that do hates do tent stitching and so I had started one in tent stitch and somebody came on to my met actually she messaged me and point blank was kind of rude about it told me that you know haids were not meant to be tent stitched they were meant for you know full crosses full you know stitches were and it, it just it really 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 made me feel like crap and so anyway about a week ago my oldest daughter and my eight-year-old son came to me at two separate times and they were like mom this isn't you you need to get out of your phone and I was you know and I just sat there and I was like what do you mean it's not me you know I'm not doing anything different and my 21 year old said mom you don't normally just sit around and do nothing you're up moving around at some point and she was right so I finally said okay I woke up one day and I said you know what I I'm I I'm not gonna do this and I did I got up I did what I needed to do and I sat down and I saw my stitching and I was like hmm I guess I can try to see what happens and sure nine and yeah I'm back I'm stitching <laughs> and thank goodness and they I ended up having to go to my doctor because I guess the milligram that my um depression meds they weren't enough because it didn't matter how it didn't matter if I took the pill or not it didn't work I don't know if that makes sense it helped but it just didn't it just didn't work like it was supposed to and not only that he diagnosed me with minor anxiety which that I, I, that just kind of punched me in the gut but anyway you're not here for that so but yes I'm back I'm okay and I promise I will try to do better with my floss too but um, no you're here for stitching so I'm going and of course I've also 
uh, started reading again, so I'm going to talk about that too. Um, I can't show you the chart. This is what I'm working on now. This is for my oldest daughter. She's 25, and her birthday was yesterday, but um, I told her this was not going to be for her. For Her birthday was supposed to be originally, but I did not get to because, you know, life and all the other things. Um, this is going to be, uh, it's from Hayde. It's uh, going to be uh, Cleopatra, Queen of Egypt, and I started it at the bottom left. Um, she is obsessed with Cleopatra. I have a couple patterns that she has begged and begged and begged me to do over the years, and I just never got around to it, but I told her that I would do this for her. She just moved into her, her new home, and I'm very proud of her. Um, gosh, I'm going to cry. <laughs> so I promised her that in two years this would be put in her house. Whew. Okay. I'm going to do like... Uh, sorry. Uh, I don't like crying in front of... In, <laughs> um, the other one... Sorry, I don't need to get a close-up of my face. The other one I've had for a really, really long time. And I have put it aside because um, I got so... That was another reason for my depression. I got so overwhelmed. I had, like... Um, I have, like, good grief. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven whips. And I was so overwhelmed. I just could not keep track. I couldn't remember what I worked on and when I worked on what you know and it, it just got to a point I, I said you know what that was another reason I stopped stitching too because I just couldn't and um so this is going to be Cascade sorry that was my daughter this is going to be Cascade I started it from the bottom to I have not finished it I'm going to work on it um, but um all my other ones I'm going to what I'm going to end up having what I'm going to end up doing is working on I guess two at a time till one is done or till I get tired of them and then add another one in the process um let's see um I had a stitching stand <laughs> and this is a funny story um one night I bought it from Amazon it was a lap stand and it was I mean it was cheap it was like 20 30 bucks and I really 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 loved my stand well one night I came out here I couldn't sleep I got up I had to you know, I needed something to drink. And uh, I stepped on it. And it broke it. And I said, well then, there goes that. So I have put another one. I have, um, I'm going to order another one. I put it in my cart on Amazon. And um, also the longer rods I have. I, I, I'm, I mean, these hades are, are huge. Some of the ones that I'm doing are huge and they don't, they didn't fit the stand. So I ordered the rods and the stand. And I also ordered a yard of 18 count Ada. So, because I have one project that I really, really want to do and it's from Hade that, um, I'm also, I love clocks and I love birdhouses and it's a clock and um, it's, I forget what it's called exactly. I think it's called about, it's about time or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. And, um, but, um, if, again, on that note, if anybody, you know, I've been trying to get people together to, you know, Skype and stitch, you know, weekly, whatever you want to do, either that or on Google Hangouts, please message me, you know, on comment here or comment on Facebook on, you know, you can look me up. It's, I'm under Jennifer Fieldwall. Um, 
I also have um, three groups. One is called Cross Stitching Sisters. The other is East Coast Stitchers for stitch for people that you know for all of us on the East Coast, from all the way up from you know New England all the way down to Florida. Um, then you know I have another one that um, I'm really thinking about deleting because nobody posts in it, and not only that, I forget to post in it, and it, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. It's called Heavenly B A P, and I forget. I think it's Heavenly B A P stitching. See, this is how long it's been since I posted in it. Um, but um, if you can't find it, you know, I can put the links here, or you know, I can put them somewhere that you know and I mean if you need them you know just let me know and I can send you the link um, but now um, oh and I've seen a lot of other floss tubers I know um, there's been a couple that I've been watching I've been catching up on floss tube for the past couple of days but um, I know a lot of us have gotten um, planners you know journals cross-stitch journals and planners and um, I had gone to Hobby Lobby and they somebody was telling me about that there's this cross-stitch planner that's actual planner you know along with you know for cross-stitch and for personal and I couldn't find it and I couldn't remember what it was called and I searched and searched and searched I googled it everything and I couldn't find it so when I went to Hobby Lobby the last time, about, mm, gosh, six or seven months ago, I found this, and it's it's just a regular planner. And I um, started, you know, using it, keeping track of how many stitches I stitch a day, how many, uh, you know, my, you know, sows, my challenges, and um, it's not the greatest in the world, but I, you know, it works for me for right now. And um, then, because I couldn't find, sorry guys, I know I'm turning away from you too much, I'm sorry. And because I couldn't find um, the cross-stitching planner, I ended up going to Dollar General, the dollar store, and I picked up this journal and inside let me see I'll just kind of show you inside and I got this idea from somebody else from another group I don't remember who it is and if you can't see it I'm, I'm sorry this is um, this is how I how she did hers and I kind of did it the same way it, she you know put down the name of it and when she started it and when she finishes it and how many or what it's stitched on and how many you know how big it is and not only that she made the graph of how many pages there are and then when she's done a page she just makes an X on the page well, I took it a little further and I said, okay, you know, I like that idea and I'll do it. So she, I added this. I like to write, you know, certain things. Say for instance, if I'm sitting here and I'm stitching, I'll make a note. I used to do this on uh, post-it notes, but now that I have this, I'll make a note hit down at the bottom in the notes section about you know like say for instance if I didn't have a certain color and I found one that was the color that was closest to it that's what I did and um, then of course I made a place for to keep track of my stitches you know how many I stitched every day and um, what time I started I know I mean when it comes to that I don't know why um, and some people think, okay, well, th that's too much work for cross-stitch. Me, I, I think part of it is is because I'm, I, I also kind of have some ADHD in the process, in, in all the mix. And I think that's another reason why I did it that way. 
because I think that helps keep me motivated also because you know if I if I see what time I started and it, it's hard to explain and um but yeah I got a lot of flack for all of that because they were like you know you're just too that's just too much work and it's you're not making the hobby fun and some of us you know for some of us that's that's what makes it fun and I think that's what people don't remember and um, you know I love cross stitch I've been doing it for 27 years going on 28 years and you know no I've only finished one piece and no you know I mean I stitch and stitch and stitch no I haven't finished anything since then but To me, it's fun. And, you know, I, you know, my groups that I'm in on Facebook, you know, we do, they do have, you know, monthly sales. Some of them, you know, they have goals where they set, you know, 1,800 stitches, 1,300 stitches, 2,300 stitch stitches. The, to me, that's what helps to keep track and to, to keep me motivated. And which, truthfully, if, I didn't do that I wouldn't I would just say you know what forget it I'm done and me personally that's that's my way of you know doing that um now on to uh the books I'm reading I'm on Goodreads <laughs> And I know that some of you, you know, are on Goodreads also, and um, I think some of you are friends on Goodreads with me, I'm not sure. Um, last year, I didn't do too good with my 2017 reading challenge. I did not, my goal was shot. I was, I, there was no way. I don't seem to be able to find time to read and cross stitch and daily life. It's, I think that's, you know, part of my, I have to work on that. That's, yeah, <laughs> it, it's hard. And, um, I'm sorry, it looks like I'm half asleep and I, I think it's the way my iPad is sitting and I'm, I'm really, really sorry. I'm trying here. This is a new iPad and, <sighs> Anyway, um, some of the books that I'm reading, um, like I said, my dad got me hooked on Tom Clancy when I lived at home with him. I had never heard of Tom Clancy, and um, I had gone to dad, one, my father, one day, and I said, Dad, you know, Daddy, I'm, I have nothing to read. I'm tired of reading, you know, the same thing over and over again. And because I had a huge bookshelf in my room and I was so tired of reading the same, you know, thing over and over again. And he handed me um, Patriot Games that Tom Clancy wrote. And I'm going to tell you, I was hooked. Um, and every time he got a new one, after he was done reading it, he'd give it to me. He said, here you go. And he also liked to read um, James Patterson. Um, I forget. There's another one, and I can't remember what he's who is called. Um, now that I I I, mm, I can't remember what his name is, but anyway, he there was a couple others that he liked to uh, to read to along with um, Tom Clancy. So I'm reading. I, I've. I'm not going in order because I don't have all of Tom Clancy's books. Um, when I moved out of my parents' house, I gave my dad his books back, which I shouldn't have. I should have kept them all. And I ended up um, a couple months ago going back to Barnes & Noble or um, Walmart and just started buying them again. And um, this one is called um, Dead of Honor. And I, I'm getting ready to start this one again. The, I love his stories or his uh, books about Jack Ryan. And um, but yeah, I did, these are these are some awesome, awesome books. Um, I 
the next one now um, is on my um, milk. I forget what it's called. So I'm going to have to get my glasses. You're going to have to bear with me here. Um, uh, what is it called? It's called The Great Crime Police It's called uh, The Great Crime. It's a mystery, thriller, and suspense. And I started this the other night because um, I was laying in bed. My son, my eight-year-old son, watches um, MPT Kids back in my bedroom. And um, so I thought, you know what, I'm not going to let him kick me out of my room at night I'm going to go back there and read and scare sorry I got something in my eye I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna read the book and um, I'm trying to think I don't know if I can actually um, I don't even know who it's by hold on I'm gonna have to go back to the library. Um, it doesn't tell you who it's by. Um, but it's called The Great Crime, and I found it on Kindle. And I can't remember if it was a free book or whatever. Um, I don't really remember. It's been so long since this book has been on my um, on my on my Kindle. Um, the other books that I've been getting into are um, Design Chronicles, and um, I had these when I was little or younger, and um, when I was a teenager, these were books that I really really liked. My grandfather was in World War II. And he was at Normandy. He uh, was one of the ones that invaded the beach. And by all rights and whatever, he should have been dead before I was born. <laughs> he, uh, he didn't like to talk about it. He hated it. He couldn't stand it. And um, finally, my dad got him to talk about it. Only because um, my sister started reading um, these books. And um, one day, my grandfather came to the house. And the book was laying on the table. And he looked at it and he says, what is this about? And, um, of course, my sister was kind of scared because she know, knew that, you know, he didn't like to talk about being in the war. And, um, my dad told him, and my dad still refused to talk about it. My grandfather still refused to talk about it. And, um, he just kind of looked at her and he says, I'm not going to give you, you know, I, I'm not going to give you answers, you know, it, it, but if you're not sure if it's true or not, you can ask, but I'm not going to tell you. And um, finally, we finally got him to talk about it um, about, I'd say, a couple years before he passed. And it, it was really, really hard especially when I found out that he was one of the ones on the beach and he was one of the bodies that was laying on the beach and it, it kind of it really really you know hit me hard and um but um anyway before I start to cry again about that the to think what they're called I can tell you once I get the it is called all right these are called design covenant 
and um, I forget how many books, how many are in that series. I think it's like, um, uh, let's see, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine books. And it's written by Brody, Bodie and Brock Theon, T-H-O-E-N-E. And then the other ones that are written by the same authors, um, my mother kind of, she was the one that found these. I actually, well, no, I'm sorry. I found these at our church at the time. Um, these are called, they're the Zion Chronicles. And let me see, I can't remember how many are in here. I have them all on my thing. One, two, three, four. There's four of them. And um, the Zion Chronicles take place in Israel during the war and it's kind of a uh, a spin-off of the other books and um it, they're really really good I mean the one the Zion Chronicle ones I it was it really fascinated me because it takes place um during the war in Israel and it talks about it, it from a from a Jewish point of view. That's why the you know it takes place in Israel. You know, during World War Two and how the Jews you know went through what they went through, not only with the Germans but also in Israel with I think it's with the um um. Bless. the Palestine or yeah Palestine I Palestines or some one of them I can't remember who um I think that's it I don't remember I have my list what did I do with it God when you gotta write things down and you can't remember one two three four okay so, again, um, that is it. Um, thank you for watching, and I, again, apologize for being so, for being MIA, but I promise I'm back. <laughs> and um, just keep stitching, and again, um, if you guys are interested in coming to one of the groups, um, the names of each group, the first one is Cross Stitching Sisters, then Heavenly BAP Stitchers, and then um, East Coast Stitchers. Um, have a great week, and I, and a great stitching week, and a great week period, and I will see you guys next week. Thanks.